Hello everyone, this is Vishal Gawali again. First of all, I want to wish all of you a very happy Nepali New Year. Um, everybody who celebrates the Become calendar, I wish you a very happy New Year. And if you want to hear my thoughts about whether or not you should make a New Year resolution, I had made a video before about New Year resolutions. Now I'll be putting a link here so you can watch that video. But today, what I want to talk about is mentorship. How valuable is mentorship and what is its role in our life? I personally believe mentorship has a big role. Uh, if you want to become like someone or if you want to achieve something in life, then it's always easy to, to be associated with someone who has already traveled that journey and to see what has worked in his or her favor and what did not and to learn the craft by watching them at work. Uh, the point that I want to make actually is it's not easy for anyone to teach the actual skills. For example, you know, how to, any, any skill, like how to cook. Now, someone might be a great cook and they might tell you all the instructions about what to do and what next, but there will be some part of the skill that not because they are um, not a good teacher, but there will be some part of the skill that they can't explain, that they can't teach you. This, the same is true with surgery. The same is true with any skills about being a good physician. Even things like, you know, as, a, as, a, as an oncologist, we break bad news all the time. Even the skill of delivering bad news. I, I try to teach trainees all over the world about the importance of breaking bad news appropriately. And I have a couple of video lectures about it. But no matter how many classes I take, no matter how many times I teach, there is some part of it that I can never teach. There will be some nuances, some part of the skill that just cannot be thought. How do you learn that? You learn that by, by imbibing, uh, by inspiration, by looking at what your mentor is doing and just learning it uh, in a, if you may say, in a, in a spiritual way, in a, in a way that is beyond words. You know, in fact, there is a saying that all these great people whatever greatness they had, it died when they died. Rest of, all, rest of it, they put it in the books. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So the saying is, whatever greatness these great people had, it died when they died. And the remaining, they put it in the books. So whatever can be taught, whatever can be written in books, whatever can be communicated verbally, are things that probably make you average. What's that extra mind is something that actually cannot be taught. Um, you know, like you keep on honing your skills every day, every single day. Um, in my case, let's say if I if I'm talking about the skill of breaking bad news to patients, then I have done it hundreds of times with 100 different patients in 100 different situations. And I just keep learning every day. I am amazed at the situation. I'm amazed at how different types of patients take it differently. And slowly I'm learning it. I'm not, I'm not uh, memorizing anything. I'm not learning it from books, but I'm learning from the situations. And if someone wants, if someone comes to me and says, okay, Please teach me how to break bad news well to, to patients. I might tell everything that is possible to say and put into words, but at the end, I'll have said only those things that will make that person an average a communicator. I'll not be able to tell that person exactly the things that will make that person an above average or an excellent communicator, because those things you just learn by repeating, doing, and getting your hands dirty, working in the field day in, day out, hours and hours. 
so that's the thing about mentorship the best thing about mentorship is not what you can get from that person through what he or she that they say or write into into books or communicate with you the best part of mentorship the best learning that you can have from someone if you are inspired from someone is to just watch them watch them at their work watch them uh, do things that they do well watch their art watch their mastery and be inspired from it and hope that in some way that just gets into you and keep practicing 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 also uh, on this occasion i would like to make a comment because uh, some of you have told me that uh, i tried to talk about uh, something in my videos and then i stopped talking about them uh, in the middle and and you were wondering why a couple of things one i never prepare for this and i have mm, by i do not even have the time to prepare for these things uh, so i just start recording the video and i just start saying whatever is in my mind and second i do not know the audience i do not know who is going to listen to this and there are different categories of audience and some of the things that i start saying i realize may not be appropriate for for every audience and that's why i i i stop in between or i try to change the conversation um so yeah that's all uh thank you happy mentorship i hope you get a great mentor all of you and happy new year